stop listening to these outdated out school tips to grow your online teaching business. In this video, I'll cover seven outdated tips to stop doing and what you should be doing instead in order to grow on out school. Hi there, my name is Katie Geddes. Make sure to grab my free 30 day guide to teaching online linked below. The first outdated out school tip that you should not be doing, and I know that some people might come for me on this one, but do not waste your time marketing your out school classes on social media. Don't get me wrong. Share your out school classes with your friends on Facebook. Reach out to your network, to your friends and your family, and let them know that you're doing this. But unless you already have a pre-existing audience with followers, with people who are ready to buy, creating a new Instagram account and putting up three posts that are all advertisements for your three classes on OutSchool is not going to help you. Instead of spending all this time creating graphics on Canva for these Instagram posts, for these Facebook posts, posting three times a week, figuring out all the hashtags, writing all the captions, use that time instead to build your presence on the OutSchool platform. I know so many people, and myself included, would love to get students on your own off the platform to avoid that 30%, but let me tell you, it is hard work. One day that should be the end goal to get students of your own. But if you're someone who wants to gain students quickly and start teaching online with learners, with earnings at ASAP, focus on class creation, branding yourself on the platform, creating videos for your classes and for your profile, and take advantage of the thousands and thousands of students that OutSchool that already has on their platform for you. Also, P.S. If you do get a student through something like social media and not through OutSchool, you should be teaching them off the platform and avoiding that 30%. Am I right or am I right? The second outdated OutSchool tip that you should not be doing is recreating the most popular classes in your niche. Yes, it's important to take note of what are the most popular classes within your niche because that shows what topics are in demand, what parents are searching for, what they want and what they need. However, if you create a class that is identical to the classes that already exist on the OutSchool platform and you're new to OutSchool, you don't have the social proof, the reviews, none of that, why would students sign up for your class rather than someone else's class? Yes, they might sign up for you for your personality and whatnot. However, what you should do instead is make your class unique. Make sure that it's somehow different from the competition. It stands out, it's catchy, it's exciting. It makes people wanna click and read more. And when they see your description, they watch their video, it makes them want to enroll. People talk all the time about how they think OutSchool is an oversaturated platform, but the reality is people that are new to the platform, they need to have new ideas ideas that are different and unique to the platform. How are you gonna stand out? Why should families work with you over another teacher? I talk about this a lot in my program, The Online Teacher Accelerator, all about how to use branding to present yourself to families in a professional but personal way. So if you're interested in that program, make sure to check out the links below to learn more about it. The third outdated out school tip that you should not be doing is focusing all your efforts on teaching what you love. Yes, that is an amazing part of teaching online is that you get to teach the subjects that you choose to teach, things that you're passionate about, things that you want to teach about. But if your main goal here is to gain enrollment and to get students to sign up for your class, your top priority should be what class topics are in demand. That means doing your market research, checking out school statistics to see what topics are in demand and what they need teachers for. So yes, teach what you love, but just make sure to really prioritize what problem is it that you're going to solve for these families and what need are you gonna fill? The fourth outdated out school tip that you should not be doing is focusing on one-time classes. Yes, one-times can be a great way to show up in the out school search and to funnel students into your other more long-term classes, but I gotta be honest here, over the past year or more, I have actually found it much harder to fill my one-time classes than my ongoing classes. And a lot of my clients have felt the same way. Families in my experience are much more excited about the idea of an ongoing class or even a semester long class. Also, a business model that focuses on one-time classes is not going to bring in as much recurring revenue and it's not gonna be sustainable. So creating more ongoing classes, classes that pay you every single week and students can remain enrolled in long-term, that's the best way to really build up that recurring income without having to go out and find new students every single week. The fifth outdated out school tip that you should not be doing is asking for reviews. Okay, I've done it before as well. I still post something at the end of my classes that says, if you have any feedback, please let me know. But as far as direct messaging families goes, 
I do not ask for reviews and messages. Instead, I ask for the re-enrollment. It's so much more important these days to have a student continue on to work with you than it is to get that social proof on the platform. Yes, of course, the social proof is important as well, but that's gonna come with time. Inviting students to continue learning with you should really be your top priority. And OutSchool is gonna send them multiple emails to remind them to review for your class. And if they don't respond to those, they're not gonna respond to your message. Do you wanna hear exactly what it is that I say to my learners after each of my classes? Classes. I actually have a YouTube video where I go step by step through one of my classes, what I do before, during, and after. So make sure to check that video out after this one. The sixth outdated out school tip that you should not be doing is using scarcity in your scheduling. I know that I've said this in the past, that if you have too many sections to choose from, families are going to get decision fatigue. They won't know which ones to choose from, which yes, is still true. However, with the new out school updated algorithm, Classes show up higher in search when you have more sections scheduled. I even know some teachers that double, triple, or quadruple book themselves on purpose until they get one learner in a section and they cancel the rest of the classes just because they want to have more sections of a class available so they can get more students. They can show up and search more often. I don't know if I would necessarily recommend doing that, but it just goes to show how important this is. And finally, the seventh outdated out school tip that you should not be doing is to avoid the hustle. Listen, long-term, we wanna focus on sustainability. I get it, I know that's important. But in the beginning, from the successful entrepreneurs that I've studied, from the teachers that I see that have built this into a full-time gig quickly, there was some hustle in the beginning. They did work long hours. They did stay up late to achieve their goals. It is not 2020 anymore. You cannot just join the OutSchool platform code book class and you're gonna get a full sold out class. It's gonna take time and effort and learning and failures and picking yourself back up again over and over until you find the secret sauce that really makes your OutSchool business successful. We all have the same amount of time in the day. It's just how your priorities align and how you decide to budget that time. And I promise that I say that in order to help motivate you, not to discourage you. But just remember that if growing this online business is a priority to you, then your schedule will reflect that. Do you wanna learn more about what it is that I recommend that you focus on in the beginning of your out school teaching career? I have a video for new out school teachers on tips to get started. Make sure to check that video out after this one. All right, hopefully these seven updated tips will help you. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscription button below. Thank you as always so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.